Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Texas. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on a Cisco Packet Tracer Lab. And in this lab, uh, we are going to see some basic uh, switch related configuration. We are going to see how we can set the host name of the switch, uh, how we can set the MOTD, that is uh, message of the day uh, banner for the switch and some password related configuration for the switch so what i'll do is i'll quickly open a cisco packet tracer so i've already downloaded cisco packet tracer and installed it i've also made a video separate video on this okay so do watch that video also if you have not installed or downloaded cisco packet tracer so what i need to do is i need to pick up a switch over here so here you can see at the bottom here are the routers and these are the switches options so i have a lot of options for the switches also so i'll take the very first option that is 2960 now i just double click on uh, click on that icon the switch and uh, go into this cli okay now you can see that the uh, switch is booting up with that os now currently you can see the host name of the switch is by default which is a switch and uh, the switch is in the user mode you can see okay so this is in the user mode and now i need to change the host name of the switch so if you want to change anything uh, on that switch it's a something that changes which are related to the configuration changes of the switch you need to enter into something known as global configuration mode now you are in a user mode you to enter from the user mode into the global configuration mode you need to first go into the privilege mode and then from privilege mode you can go into the global configuration mode so from user mode the privilege mode the command is enable and now i'm into the privilege mode so now from this privilege mode i need to go into the global configuration mode because in privilege mode i cannot make any configurational changes on the switch i can only read certain uh read certain what you can say output of certain commands on the switch okay so i'll go into the global configuration mode the command is very simple configure terminal or simply con ft you can type so i'm into the global configuration mode now i want to change the host name of the switch what host name i need is this that is sw1 so just copy this host name and the command to change the host name is simple host name okay now you see here the host name by default is switch now now i want it to be sw1 so i'll paste it now you can see once i press the enter the host name of the switch will change it is changed so this is how you can change the host name of the switch now to exit from the global configuration mode the command is exit now i'm in the privilege mode now from exiting from the privilege mode is also the command is same that is exit okay now the second thing I want to do is set a message of the day that is MOTD banner of the switch. So I'll show you how it looks basically. So this is the banner of the switch. So I'll just copy this banner first of all or the message of the day. So this is what I've copied the banner. Now to again to make the changes I need to go into global configuration mode. As I told I can just type conf t. And the command to set the banner is banner okay i need to set the message of the day now so if you see i have an option of now if i give a question mark i'll uh, the uh, the prompt will show me the all possible options so here it is showing me only one possible option that is motd that is message of the day again i give a question mark okay so it is saying that i have to give a certain line and see banner text c that is C, then a banner text, whatever banner you keep, and then C. Where C is a delimiting character. I can keep any character as a delimiting character. Okay. My favorite one is dollar. So I'll keep it as a dollar. Okay. So what I need to give is dollar, the banner text, then again the dollar. Okay. Now it is telling me enter the text and end with the character dollar. Okay. So I'll just paste it. Okay, so this is this is the banner or the message of the day I want to set and then I need to give again the dollar and I'll press enter. Okay, now 
where can I see the message of the day? So whenever a user, okay, trying to log in into that switch, he will get the message of the day. So this is the message of the day. Only authorized users are allowed. Unauthorized users are not allowed. So this kind of messages normally you can keep on the production switches, you know, which are in the live in the network. Normally you'll see such kind of banners set up on the switch. Again, the last thing is related to passwords. Okay. This is again a very important thing. Uh, configure a line console password. So uh, they want me to configure a line console password as India editor 123. So line console password, so you can check it whether any line console password is configured. It is not configured since when we're trying to log into switch, it is not asking for any password as such. So you can see over here under this line console zero, you won't find any, any configuration over here in this one. Okay, there's no configuration over here. So I want to make the changes, the configuration changes under line console zero. So what I need to go is, I need to go into the global configuration mode. In the global configuration mode, I need to go into a line console mode. So I'll type here line console zero. Okay, and then I'll set the password, okay. So I'll just type a password and the password whichever I want to give. So I'll just paste that password that is India at the rate one two three. Now since I'm setting a password, I also need to give an extra command that is login. Okay. Now I'll exit from here. Okay. Now once I've exited from this mode, you can see this config line. I came back to the global configuration mode. Now the another thing I need to set here is the enable secret password. Uh, this is a very, very, very important stuff, guys. You must know this, you know, enable secret password. How to set a enable secret password for a router or switch? For both of them, the command is same. You know, in the global configuration mode, you need to give, go into this, type this command, enable secret and the password. So the password here is uh, something different, I think so. The password here is, you need to set is, Cisco at the rate one two three. So I'll keep this password as Cisco at the rate one two three. I'll just paste it here, okay, and press enter. So this is how I've configured enable secret password. Also, now I'll exit from this switch. Okay, now once I press enter, you will see only authorized users allowed. This is the banner which we set. Then it is asking me the password. This is a console because I'm trying to log in via console. So it is asking me the console password. So this is our console password. This India at the rate one, two, three. So I'll just copy this and uh, paste it here. Okay. So now here's the host name which we configured. Let us switch one. Now I'll go into the, I want to go into the privilege mode. So I've I need a password which I've said that is enable secret password. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this password and paste it over here. Okay. So this is how we have, we have done all the, we have configured everything which was required. So uh, guys in this way, you know, there are a lot of stuff which I can come up with more with more videos. Uh, but in this video, I'll stop here. Uh, because I want to show you only this much, the basic configuration of the switch. It's very, very, very important uh, to, to actually configure a switch, to know the basic configuration of switch whenever you are starting up your career in networking. So I'll give you a last command. Now, whatever changes we have made, we have made this changes in the, uh, in the running configuration, not in the startup configuration. Okay. If you want to check, you know, for example, like, uh, this one okay so we have made the changes in the running configuration not in the startup configuration so we need to copy the running configuration to the startup configuration now even if the uh, switch get reloads and uh, if you have not saved the running configuration into the startup configuration you know then you will lose the configuration okay so the command to save the running configuration to startup configuration is copy run start up config so you won't lose the configuration even if this switch gets restarted or rebooted. Okay. So I've stopped here in this video. Uh, I'll catch up with you in the next video. Uh, if you really like this videos, guys, please do give appropriate comment. 
to this video and please do share this video with your friends so it will be useful for your friends as well so i'll stop here and catch up in the next video till then bye thanks and take care